Ladies and gentlemen, we are live. How's it going? This is the TL News Network coming to you live. My name is Defa. We're going to do another BWL again tonight. We have 420 on the docket, getting ready to go here tonight. It's going to be exciting. I will be casting alone tonight because surprisingly Chick-fil-A managed to get into the raid. That sneaky little dog. While we're getting buffs set up here, let's go ahead and take a look at the logs from last week. It looks like we have Vikey on top of the meters overall. Kang at the top of the mages. Okay, okay. Wambulance representing the warlocks. Good to see. We have some slackers down here. Hopefully they can pick it up tonight. Over on the soft reserve sheet, let's see. We got a couple on Doom's Edge. The boots of pure thought that never drop. We've only seen one, maybe two. Kind of ridiculous, right? Scroll down a little bit farther here. We got a couple on the bracers of arcane accuracy. Those drop just as much as boots, boots of pure thought, right? Never seen those. Keep going down. A couple on Drake Town Pauldrons. Okay, all right. And then we get into Cro-Mag. Not many on Cro-Mag tonight. Surprisingly. No CTSs, it looks like. No. Oh, it's hard reserve. That's right. Hard reserve. That's why. And then down on the far end, we got a bunch of lock, lock mirrors. They never drop either. One of the rare items we have not seen in TL. Got a couple on those. Reese trying to sneak in the boots of the Shadow Flame on his warrior. Surprising. And then a couple on Ash Candy, right? The PvPers and the Hunters. Let them have their weapon. So let's see where we're at here. Okay, looks like we have pulled. It is 10.03. Looking at the logs from last week, the time to beat is 43 minutes. So we'll see if they can uh, top that tonight. I don't believe we're going for a speed run. I do know we have DMF, uh, but it is 420. I don't think we do the uh, skips. But we'll see what happens. Frey not streaming. Imagine up and running here tonight on his shaman. His shaman, surprisingly, we, we brought into Grimm's raid and myself uh, one night when he had just hit 60. He got five pieces of uh, shaman gear and we never saw him again. <laughs> but here he is tonight uh, representing TL healing. Let's see if he's uh, capable of twisting, huh? Does the mage know how to twist? I, I believe Imagine does. We can get some audio in here. All right, let's see if we can get a glance at who is controlling the orb. If they have gone for the tank strat or are just keeping it the same with, I would have to guess, Fenari on the orb. Which is kind of preference, right? I um, I don't mind doing it when I am raiding on any of my three characters. But uh, I do believe the tank on it is uh, more preferred. So the clean pull going on here. Razor Gore always, uh, you know, phase one. Time to pack your balls, you know, enjoy the night, get ready to go. You know, have, have a beer or a White Claw, as you guys in TL love to, love to drink for some reason. Um, so we got 14 eggs destroyed, so we got about 16, 17 left. We're checking over the raid comp again here. We have two priests in group one. The groups have not been arranged yet, which could be detrimental if they don't get that sorted out heading into Vale. Also, let's see if they go for the uh, 
the restack onto the right side of the room. Not sure if we're going to pull that one off in 420, but uh, you never know. I'm hopeful for him. All right, so let's take a look at the damage meter. Stay cool on top of the meters. <clears throat> this guy, man, he just got Staff of the Shadow Flame on his mage the other night, and here he is on his rogue. Oh, he just got pushed out now by X blocks. Okay. Stay cool. He is a pumper. Even on his tank, he is a solid tank. <clears throat> I was uh, very happy for him last uh, Tuesday night when he got staff. We have Frey up and running now. Frey controlling the orb. A shocker out of left field. Frey is on the orb. On his mage. Did not see that one coming. And it makes me wonder why he is on the orb. Did Thanari get knocked off of it by a mage uh, casting on him? I have to wait and see. It looks like they have backup underneath. Let's see where Frey is. The timer is about to run out, it looks like. Frey is underneath. Okay. He repicks it up. Solid grab there. A little spicy. He is kind of close. And is wasting time, not moving. Does get the cast off. Okay. We have two eggs left. Going down to the last egg now. Need to spice these tunes up a little bit. Razor Gore has been engaged. The raid is on the wrong side of the room. From what it looks like, they have not read the raid strats and have adjusted. We do have some healers that have made it to the opposite side, but this is going to be a big time loss. And we'll actually count here while we're live. I did the math the other night. It is about 10 to 15 second loss from standing on this side of the room that you just give up willingly. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten seconds, eleven seconds, twelve seconds, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen seconds at least right there until Veil. Vale. <clears throat> and Veil vale has not even been started. So at least at 20 seconds there from not standing on the correct side of the Razor Gore room. Let's re-swap here to Kyle. I like his raid frames a lot better than Frey's, to be honest. Especially as a healer, right? You got to have those raid frames right up in front. You got to see who's taking the damage. I prefer this setup as well when I'm playing my Priest. Nice and big. The only thing you care about. Looks like we got some T2 Bracers off Razor Gore. Not bad. Especially with four Warlocks in the raid. Are getting a hiccup on Kyle's stream here. Now we have Hunter Bracers. Okay. Probably don't need those. Unfortunate for Grim. He did not make it in the raid. I know he was trying. He sure could have used those bracers. Okay, looks like we have Reese tanking Veil. It is a good pull. Well, Poetry really high on threat right now. That is not the threat meter. That is the damage meter. Thanari with the burning adrenaline. Where is a threat meter? 
Okay, Frey has a threat meter, but the bad raid frames, we might have to deal with that, at least for boss fights. Frenzy getting close on threat. This could get sketchy. And it was a clean fail. Well done. Two dead. We had two burning adrenalines there. That is kind of unfortunate. And we had bad loot on top of that. Priest, warrior, and the pendant. Not the best loot. I don't know where Frey's going. Possibly missed loot on Razor Gore. Let's check back in with Kyle as we move up through Vale's room into the next pulls here. So it looks like we are taking it slow tonight. Unfortunately, it does look like Mooney Spoons got the second burning adrenaline. That is unfortunate for her. At least it was on a healer if it's any consolation instead of a DPS, right? Okay, so here we go. Clean pull. Diamond has been kited away. We are cleaving. Everything looks pretty good here. Heals look tight. Health looks good. This is a good pull. Now, you do have to be careful with these captains, right? They can get a little spicy. Especially when you're in a rush. Do Does Raid 420 do the skip? Let's see. The mob being on the right side of the room tells me that they are not. Looks like we are backing up and going to reset here for this second uh, trash pack. Interesting call to not do the skip. I figured that was kind of uh, meta for TL at this point. Oh, looks like Kyle won himself a pair of T2 bracers. Good for him. All right, second pull. Looks good. All right. I'm getting anxiety actually watching Kyle stream, thinking I'm playing my priests and I need to be healing. We're going to bounce back over to Imagine and chill with the Frost Bolts. Unfortunately, no melee streamers tonight. I don't know where they are. Would love to see the uh, Fire Maul pulls from melee perspective, but we're not going to get it tonight, unfortunately. So interesting raid frame set up here by Imagine from a healer to have his raid frames so small. That is a bold strategy. As we were just talking about with Kyle, if we look back here as on the priest, this is the main focal point, right? Like Imagine, ooh, that's, that's a little spicy to have it over there. All right, let's see, moving into suppression room now. Double hatcher pack. Looks like we're going to get orcs on top of it. Okay, first hatcher is dead. Orcs are pulled. Are we being sheep? Nope, we're just cleaving. Okay, I like to see it. The raid is not moving. The raid should be moving here. It looks like we're going to take things just nice and easy, huh? Okay, in comes the next hatcher. And it's down nice and quick. I like to see it. Looks good. We're moving. Now we should be dragging. Well, that's a lot of totems down. That could be risky. Next hatcher pulled. Okay. Raid is moving through it. Or should be at least.
getting getting a little spicy here. Let's check back with Kyle to check the health as we're moving through suppression room. Always got to be careful in suppression room. One death is a big time loss, isn't it? And not necessarily the time loss. That's the important part, right? It's the... Uh, What is it? The um, battle res. That's the big. That's the uh, the big problem. Is that'll come back to bite you. Looks like we are getting a suppression trap right now. The first one I've noticed go off. Much better improvement. Dark Angel getting dangerously low. Gets the heal. You couldn't even see his health there. That was. Whew. It does look like these suppression traps are a lot cleaner tonight than they have been the last two nights. As we have made it to the ramp. There's a slight hesitation. You're grabbing hatchers. Okay, here comes the hatcher. Imagine only with 33 minutes left on his rend and 41 on Songflower. I think the Songflower is probably safe. The Rend might be a little... Uh... Oh, this is Kyle. That's right. Kyle losing Rend is not that big of a deal. Right. Priest buffs. Psh, who needs him? Wait, we are at the corner. Traps are down. Hatcher is in. Double Hatcher pull. They should be able to take this down quite easily. It could get a little sketchy. It's any time in suppression room. It is now. With a trap on top of that, the rogue is knocked out of combat, but looks like he gets the trap down as a third Hatcher now comes in. Flakes had to feign death there. It looks like they are going to eat another suppression trap. And another successful suppression room from TL. Have we had a single wipe yet in suppression room? I, I don't think so. Okay, about to approach Broodlord here. It looks like Reese is getting ready to tank this. We are turning the corner. Now, the question is, which Reese is Reese on tonight? Is it Sword Reese? Is it Thunder Fury Reese? I don't know the difference. Let's see what he's got. He is going in. It is Sword Reese, Maladeth Viscag, a man after my own heart with the Cloak of Fire Maul. Let's check back over with Kyle to check the heals on this one. Reese getting dangerously low. Does get the heal. Glassiad half health. Kyle in no man's land. Big knockback there. Thermo is dead. We have lost a tank. We have a tank down. Knowing Thermo, it was probably uh, his own fault. Probably missing a consume or misclicking. Slicen is down. We have a rogue down. That is big. Kyle out of mana as Broodlord is killed. Let's check the loot. We are not going to get a glimpse at it, Kyle. Come on, show us that juicy loot. Come on. Show it to us. Dragon Stalker Graves, more Hunter loot that is probably going to waste, unfortunately, as we have Potpourri, Flakes, and Bilbo in here. All very geared. Unfortunate. You hate to see it. Then we have some Mage Boots. Unfortunately, no Bracers of Arcane Accuracy once again tonight. What a shame. 
I personally have given up on those and just decided, you know what? I'm going for Rock Fury. Forget it. They are Bist till TBC. Actually, Bist till T5, level 70. You will not replace them until you're a rating in TBC. They are that good. Okay, do we go for the cape swap here pre-pull? It looks like we do get some capes on. As the Warlocks come in, where is the mage? Off on the left there. Is it Frey? Let's take a glimpse. It is not Frey on the techies tonight. Dual wield without stone shield, 100%. I would believe it oh it looks like we have a life-giving gem not bad maybe thermo could use that and he maybe would have lived there if he presses it do we have any soft reses on the life-giving gem let's take a look broodlord life-giving gem it is going to a roll That is a big pickup for someone tonight. I bet you Stokes is probably going to roll on it. Next pull coming in here. And what I still want to see from TL here is I want all the casters to be on the mob on the left side. Triangle, right? We are taking a lot of fire damage here, it looks like. A lot of fire damage going out. We do get a portal. Keg Filet getting dangerously low. Does look like he gets the top off. Is Firemall incoming next? Let's see. Do we go for a cape swap here? Let's check back over with Frey. Does not look like we are getting Fireball next. And also not doing the walkthrough skip strat. Surprising. Waiting for the techies to come in is Frey here. They are not moving for some odd reason. Here they come, finally. Nagasaki, thank you for the follow, man. Frey getting big damage off here. Looks very good, very clean. Let's check back over with the meters to check on the fire damage. We do have an offline. I'm assuming that's a disconnect. Hopefully we can get Kang back in the raid as soon as possible here. And we have still moved through so far with zero deaths except for the Thermophile. Why do you only see one mage on top of the AoE pack? That is a great question, and I do not know the answer to that. I would only think that mana would be one that they're trying to conserve and wait for the next mage to pull up for techies, but uh, we're not in any rush here tonight, so... Good question. Okay, we are going for the fire resist gear. Kyle checking Thermophile's gear. Thermo with the black ashrobe. Did I see that correct? Was That was not a bug, was it not? Thermo tanking fire mall with a cloth chest piece on. We'll see what happens there. We're going to keep an eye on the healing meters here at 100%. I do not know why he is wearing the black ash robe. I know it has a lot of fire resist, but I could only imagine as a tank, there's got to be some plate gear that is better than cloth gear, especially for fire mall. Highly questionable. I've never seen that before. Then again, I've never inspected a tank before on fire mall. So I might be completely wrong. We'll see what happens. Does have the Nightfall equipped as well. I think I managed to catch at the end there.
clean fire mall pull kang still offline is gonna miss fire mall unfortunately here comes the swap on to dino back on to reese kyle in the right position here not getting a stack good for him knows the class well even though he is a mongoloid warrior Okay, here we go. Thermo taking damage. Stay cool at half health. Is going to need a top off or is going to need to get out. Is getting healed now. The bold stretch from Kyle there to risk the heal. Good play. Thermo survives in the Black Ash robe. That, okay. Good for him. We have more priest gear. And it looked like I caught a glimpse of the dagger there. Rare pickup. I forget the name of it. We will see the link eventually. Kyle, by the way, is on the soft reserve for the gloves. We'll see if he can pick these up as well. Checking back over with Frey. We do have some shadow and fire. Very good combo, especially for a warlock. I am very jealous right now seeing those two pop up. Seeing some big numbers coming out of Frey. Going for the Shadow Wand on the Shadow Vulnerability. Good call. Does look like we have a pull here. And it does get down before any trouble happens. Let's check in with Chick fil A here and see what he is up to. He is going to hit us with an ad. We'll touch back in in one second. Okay, setting up for the next pull here. Let's see if we have any three heads that run up an LOS on the top. <clears throat> I believe that is Frey on the techies. Okay, let's take a glimpse here. Good, clean pull. Frey in no danger at all. Techies are down. Over here on Chick-fil-A. Interesting UI coming out of Keg Filet here. The raid frames in the top left. I have never seen that before. And to be honest, I don't mind it. Screen is a little cluttered. Getting the Hellstone handoff from Thanari. He is very good at that. You know he has that juicy one. Keck Filet on the mage tonight. Damage done right now. Sitting at number two for that pull. Good for him. Claw of the Black Drake is the name of the dagger that I forgot. <clears throat> Trying to Blizzard, but he is LOS. Does get it off. It looks like it's not hitting at all. No, his numbers just come up collectively, it looks like. That is interesting. Are getting the swap. It is Arcane. Kyle jumping around with nobody to heal. That is a good sign. Kang still offline. Something must have happened to his internet, unfortunately. Let's 
You hate to see it. Especially as he had made it already through Razorgore, which will lock him. I'm getting a notification in Discord that he has to restart his Battle.net launcher. It is wigging out at 10.25, six minutes ago. So I see that. It's been six minutes, so he should be coming back fairly soon. Would only hope. Does he have... Let's, let's dive deeper into this. And check the soft res. He is on Brazers, so he missed out on Broodlord loot, but it did not matter. Do we have any nice trash drops? Does not look like it's so far tonight. Unfortunate for the Doom's Edge soft resers. We had two Band of Dark Dominions the other night in East. And a uh, Draconic Maul. Very rare to see three trash drops in one night. Okay, we are getting ready for the third and final pull. Kyle taking one last drink. Does get the heal off. Frey back on the techies. Getting close without a power word shield. Does not have power word shield on. Does take a hit there. Does take another hit. And is able to walk away clean. Mob is arcane. I want to know where are my melee streamers? This we have all look at this multi stream. It is all casters. Where are the melee streamers in 420? If you are one, I'd love to put you on. Looking at this list, though, of the roster, does not look like we have one. Okay. Ebon Rock is at the base of the stairs. Are we going to go for... The skip trash pull Ebon Rock first. We are getting a roll in the raid warning chat. I missed the item that dropped. We are getting the pull of Ebon Rock. Let's touch back here and restart that so we can catch the healing raid frames. Ebon Rock pulled. Good threat. Tank's in position. The raid has adjusted. Shadow Flame going out on the Thermo. Does eat it and is fine. I wonder if he's got the Black Ash Robe on once again for this fight. I am actually curious to know the truth behind that. I will indeed ask him about that after this. Dino getting very low. Kyle ready for the swap to Frenzy. Which in my mind means Frenzy is very high on aggro. Do, did get BRE last week. So I'm sure he is pumping. We are showing the damage meters here. Poetry on top by a large margin. 8k over Mac Daddy. Clean pull, zero death. Very clean raid so far. Other than the uh, one little hiccup. On um, Broodlord. But that, you know, it is, it is, you know, tanks do die on Broodlord, okay? I don't want, I don't want to give him a hard time. It Tanks do die on Broodlord. But then seeing the Black Ash robe, eh, kind of questionable. Did we get any good loot? We got Essence Gatherer. That is, that is not good. And Priest Gloves. Again, with the Priest Gloves. Did Kyle get his? I did not see the roll. And he did not check his bags. Which would indicate he won them. He did win them indeed. Speak of the devil. Literally checks the bags as I'm talking about it. He must have heard me. Here comes the pull. Let's see if we have Fap from the melee. 
clean pool. Hey, Kang, online. Kang has made it back online. Stokes getting low. Does get the heal. The mob is in the raid, and the raid is not moving. Does eat a full stun there. All of the healers do eat a stun. They do manage to recover. Fortunately, Kyle was smart enough to move. I know when I play my priest on this pool specifically, I will fap. Just for that specific reason, that you do not get stunned. Okay, moving on now. Drake Talon Pauldrons. Drake Talon Pauldrons and Ebony Flame Gloves. Let's check back. Do we have any Drake? I, th I thought I saw Drake Talon Pauldrons. Shared Dragon Loot. Do we have any? Yes. Drake Talon Pauldrons. We have Thermo Frenzy and X Blocks. Does Thermo get Drake Talon Pauldrons? Okay, the Flame Gore has been pulled. We have Clean Tranks. Here comes the Shadow Flame. Thermo dropping to 20% does get healed up. Good tranks. Surprisingly, we do not see the pull up the ramp on the flame core. We did the skip, but we did not continue the uh, pull up the ramp, surprisingly. Very questionable. I feel like that was only half the progress completed, right? You did step A, but not step B. Okay, clean pull there. Clean kill. And what do we have? Stylines, nice pickup, and another, another pair of priest gloves. That is three priest gloves tonight. Unreal. You hate to see it. At this point in the game, you hate to even see one, let alone three. Oh, God. Interlay shadow jerkin on top of it. You hate to see it. Three of them. Unreal. That is what you call bad luck. Ugh. Grim, you know about that in our ZGs, man. Oh, my goodness. Gets the four of the same item. Bilbo with the feign death. Thermo dropping to 10%. 5%. Gets healed. Mac Daddy out of half health. X is in the raid. In the raid. Not being pulled away. We do have a rogue down. Frenzy dropping low. Frenzy is down. That is a huge loss. Thermo at 30%. Reese taking damage. Slicing down as well. Unfortunate there. And you know it had to be from X walking into the, that pack. I wonder what uh, vulnerability it has on it. It had to be fire. Actually, no. It had to be frost, right? Because my warlocks are smart enough to stand away from the raid because I taught them well, right? Had to be the mages that pulled right there. I did not see it. Kyle out of mana. Is trying to get the drink. The pull is about to happen. We do not have a res going out on slicing. Is that another interlaced shadow jerkin? Oh no. Oh no. I, what did 422 to deserve this? Good lord. Ebony flame gloves being rolled. That's a nice pickup for free there. I spent quite a bit of DKP on those gloves. 
And as a matter of fact, I have them on my priest and they just rot in my bag, in my bank. Okay, it does look like we are preparing for Chromag here. The reses have gone off. The buffs are up. We are rebuffing. We are at 38 minutes right now. The time to beat was 43 from last week. We have five minutes to go. It is going to be close. I don't think they're going to be able to pull it off, sadly enough. That is uh, unfortunate that they are going slower than their time last week. Here comes the pull. Reese with a good grab. You got to love it when Reese is your tank on Chromag. He always seems to know the right spot to be in. Whenever another tank picks it up, it's always just this janky thing going on. Okay, we, here comes the time lapse. Unfortunate. You hate to see a time lapse go off here. We are stepping back in. Kyle did get aggro for half a second there. Stay cool now with aggro. It's going into the raid. Reese does get it back. Fortunately enough, zero deaths there. That could have gone south very quickly. We are repositioning Chromag now. Okay, back into the right spot. Second vulnerability going off now. A little risky. We took a ton of incinerates there. We are going to have deaths. This is going to get spicy. I think I saw about eight or nine incinerates go off there. Not good. Does look like we are able to stabilize. How is healer mana? Let's take a peek. Mostly below 50%. Quiz surprisingly still at 100% with Joe and Dumpster. Must have just potted. Time lapse was a clean pull off that time around. We are into fire here. Let's take a look on the threat meter. Xbox, very high on threat. Once again, that guy is a pumper. And it unfortunately looks like that death on Frenzy Yato has completely taken him off the threat meter for tonight. Let's try to take a peek. We did get the car door. Very nice pickup. Mage shoulders and shaman shoulders. Overall, I would say about a solid B+. Plus. Incinerate was sketchy. Looks like we are going to catch some deaths at the end of Chromag here, just from the Incinerate tick. Wamulence down. Frenzy down again. Strong Boy now down as well. And it looks like Slicing went down too there, unfortunately. All right, so we have made it into Nest Room. The time right now is 41 minutes. Hopefully they can get under 45, but I don't see that being in the picture anymore with how long this encounter takes. Unfortunate night for Raid 420. 45 minutes, still good. Actually, let's disregard all of that. All of that disregarded, right? Remember, we did the both pulls, right, on Veil, vale, okay? We did that, and we didn't walk the line, okay? So 41 minutes, very good time moving forward so far. Even with the deaths and the slight mishaps, we are still doing very good. Six, thanks for the follow, man. Appreciate it. Looks like we had Sonari randomly die there. I did not see what happened, but he just died. You have to wonder what that was to. Now, I have... Uh, ugh. The only thing I can think about happening there is a life tap into a misclick of a dark rune. Unfortunate repair bot going out. Hunters missing bows. Bilbo with the feign death. He held that for a while. I thought he actually had died there.
All right, so here we go into phase two. Guys, it's been a wonderful night. Let's take a look at the soft reserve sheet while this is going on. Nothing to see in phase one here of Neff. Okay, so we have Quiz on the T2 Priest robes. Nice pick up for him. Mac Daddy on the T2 chest for rogues. Nice. Four people on Lockamere. Mooney, Zinx, thank you for the follow once again. Good luck on the Lockamere. F2O and Sparty Shaman. Okay. Frey trying to sneak in with Keck Filet on the Mish. They, they want that item very badly. I know Keck, unfortunately, was not able to get it when he was in a main raid. Um, honestly, because I took it from him. But, uh, you know, that's what happens when you're an all in a main raid, right? You should be expecting that, as I would. Uh, okay. Ash Candy, we got Bilbo, Potpourri, and Flakes, the Hunters, on Ash Candy. Surprising. I guess they all have the crossbow, right? Because we had no reserves on the crossbow. It's actually loot counseled. Smart of them to go on Ash Candy and then try to sneak a crossbow on top of that. Good plays from the Hunters. 12 kills left here. I might as well slash sleep when I'm here in phase one on Neff because I can't even cast. They all have it, yeah. Yeah, right, they do all have it, yeah. Potpourri, Bilbo, and Flakes. Bilbo has the crossbow. Good for him. We have seen a lot of them, right? I mean, you have two, right? Let's that. <laughs> okay, so we are getting the transition into phase two here. Keep an eye on the meters. Dwayne's World, thank you very much for the follow. Interesting pull there. Let's check on the threat right away. The rogue's very high. They need to vanish. Curve Street here, yes. <laughs> Flakes now on top of the threat meter. Followed by Bilbo, the hunters representing on the meters here tonight. Frey popping off. Does get a resist there. Another resist on top of that. Unlucky. Followed up by a non-2k Shadow Bolt. Even lower Shadow Bolt followed up with that. Into a resist. You hate to see it. Back to the health meters here. Fear does go out, is broken instantly by Reese. And Kyle, who does Will of the Forsaken, I believe. Now, he is a troll. It does not have Will of the Forsaken. Must have just resisted that with the hidden troll uh, racial. There's a secret troll racial in Classic that actually gives you more resist than an orc, believe it or not. As I personally have experienced it myself on my troll rogue. Kyle now jumping around. Actually having nothing to do. The heals are so well. We are getting an interesting fear here. It does get turned back around. In the right call. Priest class call. That's why Kyle was on his thumbs there. It is ending now. Heals going off. Mage class call incoming into stage 3. Not a good combo here. Not a good combo here. Looks like we do get a big sapper out of Kyle. Into his AoE. Holy Nova. Good for him. Dispels going off. Kyle well aware while using the Nova. Good to see the uh, mix of offense and defense out of the Priest there. There goes Neff. The time is 47. 16. We did get an Ash Candy. We have an Ash Candy on the board. And a Presters. It looked like we had Rogue on top of that. And I unfortunately think Hunter as well. No, it was Wrath. I believe it was Wrath. Kyle going very fast. Cannot see. You love to see Ash Candy. Bloodfang chest piece. Going to Mac Daddy. Grats for him. Ash Candy, we have the Hunters. One lucky hunter is walking away with his sword tonight. 
Breastplate of Wrath. It was Warrior. Good for him. Is it going to any of them? Let's see. Prester is going to a roll. The elusive item I still need on my rogue. Yeah, the sword dropped. Unbelievable to see the sword. It seems like all the items drop whenever we're not in the raid that we need them to drop in. Here comes the roll for Ash Candy. Let's see. Are we still logged in? Let's take a login real quick to see if we can catch a Gratz. Who won Ash Candy? Can't tell right now. The guild chat is quiet. We will have to wait and see. Let's take a pop into Discord and see what the comms are about. Still discussing yeah. it's, it's, the head. Alright, I got you. It seems like things are going pretty smooth in there. The time once again is 47 16 58. Not bad considering we did not do any trash skips. All right, guys, we are going to move into Molten Core. I am going to do a short ad break and take a quick second here, and we'll be right back. <laughs> 